Okay, so I think a lot about these videos, this vlog that I've been building for what, uh, how many years? Uh, six, six years now. And you'll have to excuse me, I'm sitting out in my garage. It's about 100 degrees out here. I'm sweaty again. And uh, it's late at night, so I'm not painting. But I've been thinking about this vlog and trying to figure out why people watch. Because I watch other art videos, and they're usually instructional, and they're helpful, and they tell you how to make magical steps to become the artist that you've always wanted to be and how to take yourself from where you are to this mountaintop. My videos aren't really that way. My videos are more like, I wanted this thing, I wanted to reach this goal, I did everything I could to get there, and I was almost there, and then shit fell apart, and we're sliding downhill, and I can't make it stop. And then we set another goal, and we work for that goal, and we work and work and then we almost get there and then shit goes sideways again and we're rolling downhill and suddenly we're in an avalanche. And then we get up, we're tired and we're depressed and we're frustrated and angry and we get up and we set another goal and we start up the mountaintop and it just happens over and over and over again. I actually reached a point in the vlog where I couldn't even talk anymore. I had nothing positive to say so I started Studio Me in another state. So at least we were painting together. I had no great information to provide. Um, but it's, you know what? Let's, let's just be together. Let's be together and let's work together. Let's just sit together and keep working towards our goal. And someday, hopefully, the world will open up to us. Well, while I've been making these vlogs, I've been listening to TED Talks to help keep me afloat and audiobooks, because I love audiobooks, but TED Talks. And I watch them, too, on YouTube, and I'm watching a lot of art videos on YouTube. I'm watching these art videos, and I still can't figure out why people watch mine. Because in these art videos, people are in costumes, and they're talking about art theory, or they're on stage and they're talking about the success and how they got there and there was this magic moment and life took off for them and now they're doing fabulous things. Never been able to really do that much. Instead it's just kind of, let's not step out in front of a bus today. Let's make something. Well. About a week and a half ago, um, the point of the video, I might actually get there. The point of the video today is I was sitting with my friend Maya about a week and a half ago in the garage and I was really feeling at the end of my rope again. Um, the job wasn't going well. My nine to five job was not going well at all. Uh, it was actually pretty awful and I was not succeeding at selling at my job. Uh, Thing, it was just a slow month, and other stuff had happened, and I was just like, I, I'm so, I'm so done. I, I, I'm just so, I'm done. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not succeeding in anything. I'm, I'm making these paintings. I, I mean, I'm in galleries, and I'm very grateful for that. And we work together, and we, you know, we sell, but I'm just not to the level. I've worked so friggin' hard to be at. I've put my all into this, and I'm just not getting anywhere. And Maya said something to me. We're sitting here, and Maya said, I want you to remember, I want you to think about everything you've done in the few months that I've known you. And we've known each other for about a year, but we've become better friends in the past... Um, five, six months, Maya said, I want you to think about everything you've succeeded at. And I'm sitting there and I've got tears streaming down my face and I'm like, I can't, I can't think of one. What, do, what are you referring to? And Maya said, your housemate, you finally got your housemate out of here in April. You have, and I go, I know, and I haven't found a new one. I kind of failed at that too. I can't find someone to share the house with. Maya said, since April, 
you have paid all the rent, you have paid all the bills, you have kept a roof over your head, you've paid all your personal bills, you've kept food in the fridge, you've kept your pets healthy and alive. Maya says to me, you somehow, every single month, you come up with 2500 bucks to take care of this house and all of your bills. I says, that's not something I could do, I could imagine myself doing, and you've done it with nothing, with nothing but you. And I didn't really hear it that night, but I did hear it the next day when I was watching another one of the TED Talks, one of the art, you know, artist-run TED Talks. I'm watching one where this young girl, all of 25, walks out on this TED Talk stage, now having a huge forum to speak in front of. She comes out in her apron and it's covered with paint, and she walks over to her palette, and she dip, dramatically dips her brush in and walks over to a fresh white canvas on an easel on the stage and makes a few marks in, red, in blue. She walks back, so, back over, grabs another brush, and makes a few more marks in red. Then she turns to the audience and talks about how she became the successful artist she has always wanted to be at 25. And yes, the jealous green monster popped up in me, and I wanted to just reach out and slap her. Because she's 25 years old, and she's talking about being flown around the world and asked to speak here and to do this thing, and what a struggle it was to become a successful artist at 25. I, I have been, I'm not quiet about it, I talk about it in almost every video, how depressed I've been, how frustrated I am, how filled with anxiety and fury at times because I do all the things that you're supposed to do. Like this young woman had done, she went on Periscope. She ended up being the number one person viewed on Periscope, good for her. I've done Periscope, that's where I started doing live painting. Um, I started doing live painting on Periscope, then I switched to YouTube because that's where I had more viewers. So I was doing live, uh, live painting there, calling it Studio Mate in another state. Um, I'm now working off an older iPad again, so I can't do live painting, but we do these videos and I, you know, videotape myself painting and it's not because I have any great knowledge to share, it's just, let's just paint together, let's make a pinky promise to stick together and stick it out and to keep working. Um, I do Instagram, I do all the social media, I do the stuff that, all, that this young woman was suggesting that I do. I do all the stuff that all these successful artists on these TED Talks and then these PBS Talks and all these, you know, Tate videos, the Tate, uh, Tate Guggenheim, MoMA, all these great museum videos, all these artists talk about. I do them. I've done, I've tr or I've tried to do them. And I'm still sitting here in my garage sweating my guts out. But Maya gave me something to think about, and this is what I want anyone who sees this video to think about, are the successes. I've had solo shows in New York. They didn't quite take me to the epic heights that I thought they would, or that I would or as promised that they would. I'm not really flying around the world and in Berlin where I'd like to be. But like the people who write me and email me and Instagram me and message me through Facebook and all that stuff, I've continued. I've continued on to persevere. They say the hard work part pays off. I'm hoping at some point in time it actually does. Um, on a major way, because that's in a major way, because that's what I've been working for. So far I haven't, I haven't really had that push over the edge that this young woman has. 
but we keep making the videos together anyway, and we keep painting together anyway, and we keep a strong community, community together anyway through YouTube, through Facebook, through Instagram. And I think I now know why people watch my videos. It's because, and write me and talk to me, it's not because I've reached this fabulous height. I found the magic door and I turned the knob and life opened up to me. It's just kind of, oh my God, shit went sideways again. But we're not going to step in front of a bus and we're not going to give up. We're just going to keep going. I get it now. I get it now because of Maya, because of this 25-year-old who has the world at her feet. I get it. It's not the sense of greatness that people are pulling from my videos. It's not the, you know, oh, I, I saw you in Time Magazine. Um, ooh, I saw you in The New Yorker. I'd love to be in The New Yorker. But I saw you in The New Yorker. And so I know you're wonderful. It's just, shit goes sideways. And the trick is to not give up. The thing is to not give up. And that we share secrets. And that we share our, um, our successes, whether they are large or we, they are small. It's just that we stick together and we help hold each other up. Especially when shit is going sideways and we're sitting in our garage sweating and crying at 10 o'clock at night with another artist who gets it. I hope that came out even remotely close to the way I hoped it would. I'm not sure it did because nothing does. But I tell you what, let's make another pinky promise in another video to just stick together. Stick together and to keep working. And I think that's kind of what I wanted to say anyway. Ciao.